I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Sprinter. If you copy scans provided by a developer, this is a sort of speed runny game, but with a narrative. Um, I'm actually going to be playing in this easier difficulty. Uh, it's a very hard game by default. So basically, what you do is you. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> it's still too hard. Um, so what you do is you got to get through these levels uh, as fast as you can, and you got. You got ugh. Honestly, my main difficulty is that the, the timing for stuff is pretty finicky and it, you actually gotta allow yourself a little time before you hit an obstacle before you press the button matching it. So the story is told in a sort of memory fragments thing. I uh, have not seen much of the story. I just took I just played a little bit just to figure out the controls and just enough to figure out that hang on. Okay, there we go. I played just enough to figure out that this was not going to work unless I played on the easier difficulty. So basic. Oh god. <sighs> any any mistake like that is going to cost you the run, basically. So basically, you press your four. There's f three different. Oh, f f yeah, there's three different acts you can take. You can disable those pink things. Um. Press X on the 360 controller to distract those guard things, and you press A to open doors on a 360 controller. They strongly recommend a controller for obvious reasons. They it seems pretty strongly designed for um, you know a controller due to the you know things are color coded, but uh, there's an, there's few enough controls that I guess it should work decently on a uh, keyboard. I haven't been brave enough to try. I'm bad enough on a controller. So the game realizes it's very difficult, and you know, uh, that's why it has. A, ah, that's why it has an easier difficulty mode. This is the easy mode, by the way. Um, I think the levels are the same, and you just get a bit more time. Is what how the easy mode works. Ah, but I mean, more than a basic mistake is still pretty fatal. It seems. Also, you can activate those, um, you know, the triggers pretty early, and so the timing isn't maybe quite what I would expect, personally. Music is extremely soothing, like... I guess it's good for, you know, frustrating games to have soothing music, come to think of it, but, uh... It's sort of... I don't know. I don't mind it, it's just a little... not quite what I might have expected. We got some sad stuff going on. So, uh... And the... I read on a site, this is a... The developer of this game is a one-man studio. I'm not sure if every absolutely everything is, um... Oh, that's why Rosie is running. I see. Um... I'm not sure if absolutely everything is... One person, second chapter unlocked. The gold, chapter one, gold times. That's that's not happening. We're just going to chapter two. <laughs> Wait, is that? Thirteen ninety-four. Uh, I guess we're going back in time. Oh, yep, we are. Prologue. Okay. There's a little teach you how to play thing. Um. Oh, we have more controls too. I see. But yeah, there was a little tutorial. What? Oh. What? Yoink! Yeah. I got caught on the thing. Treasure is now required to complete for the levels. Okay. But yeah, there was a tutorial. I can't reset the tutorial. Take key. Oh wow, we got lots of controls, I guess. Take key. Okay. Gold guard has key. Do I get a... I gotta steal the, the key from the guard, I guess. Alright, so that's an interesting... It sort of add It layers mechanics instead of, you know, just adding more buttons. You gotta steal and do the guard thing. I see. And... <laughs> for some reason, doors are the hardest problem in the game for me. I'm just like, oh, d d d door. I don't know how to door. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. Also, cutting... Key or corners is a major mechanic. It's like 
It's kind of like Pac-Man. You, you gotta cut the corners real fast or you're gonna die. If you, if you didn't know, you probably did, but Pac-Man cuts corners a lot faster than ghosts, so a big part of... Ah, oh, frick. Playing Pac-Man right is knowing when to go to a corner instead of taking a straight path. Because the ghosts move at a constant speed, I think. Anyway, I'm no Pac-Man master. Emily is running yet again. Oop, fuck. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Also, the, the way easy mode works, it just adds a little bit more time. So, uh, the levels are basically the same. You just, it's a little bit more forgiving. It does insist that the, you know, intended way to play is, uh, the normal difficulty, which... I guess, fairly obvious. Uh-oh. Oh. Ah. Dead. <laughs> not an easy game. I, I'm not opposed to hard games, but uh, I'm glad there's an easy mode because, just personally, I'm not. I don't have tons of time to practice this sort of stuff before I do a video. Uh, I did want to show this off, but I didn't really want to practice. Uh, I have been told it is not entirely depressing. In case that is, you know affecting anyone's interest. Um, who? Excuse me. Um, but obviously the story is a little dark here to start with. Interesting way of telling the story. I, re I also really, I don't, I forget if I mentioned this, but I really love this, like, I don't know, colored pencil or whatever sort of visual design we got going on here. I'm a big sucker for basically any sort of interesting art style. Oop. Oh, and this game, um, I'm not sure if I'm too late for launch discount, March 3rd. Okay, um, it's a little more time for the launch discount, wait, did we, can I go to chapter 3 now? Okay, there we go. Lyle! What's going on, Lyle? So these all tie in together, I assume? Yeah, there's a launch discount. It's The game's $8 by default. It's 20% uh, off the first week here. Double? What? Oh, we got jumping? Oh, goodness. Doors! I have the most trouble with doors, and now you're gonna do this to me. Oh, for Pete's sake. What the? You just kind of teleport? Okay. Dash is available in this level. Okay. Wait, you only get two dashes? Is that what that's telling me? Whew. Okay. Interesting. Eh. <laughs> Doors! Ugh. I guess it's telling me how many I have to do. Activated early. How do you mean activated early? Hold on. Oh, did I press A early? Oh, ah, oh, dead. Wait. Oh, I thought I missed the treasure. Level well, run in five. I'm a big sucker for stories told without words. I mean, there's technically, there's a few words. But I mean, it's mostly pictures, and I'm a big fan of that. Like, even just in super simple stuff like Kirby, ah, that, you know, it's simple fluffy stuff, but it's still really neat to me to, you know, it's also really easy to localize. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's really interesting to see, you know, what you can express in a story without actually directly saying anything, you know, just pictures, music, you know, general feel of stuff, gameplay mechanics. Because it's surprising how little you need to say sometimes to really get fairly complex ideas across. 
So we're doing a little better now. We're doing a little better now. Look at that crappy docking station on his phone. Look at it. Look at him build that stupid thing. You don't know how to hammer, bro. You're not a hammer, bro. Ugh. Messed up already. Alright, see, we're, we're getting the hang of it. See, I figured I would get the hang of it at some point, but I didn't want to, you know, spend the entire video screwing up. So, I mean, you should probably try to start on normal. Unless you're, you know, some sort of dumb YouTuber that's trying to uh, show off the game without having played it first. Lyle will run. Not sure why you're running. This story's a little different from the others. Just, just a little bit, but whatever. I'm sure it all makes sense eventually. Oh, five! <laughs> I think we'll do one more chapter, you know. See what other mechanic we got here. We don't need to show the whole thing. But, uh, whoop. Uh, no, no, no. If you, if you activate a door, like the button presses are in sequence. So if I press A here too early, fuck. Um, it actually opens the next door and then I can't reopen that door just by, you know. And so you can't like just mash A and square and stuff to force your way through the level. You can sort of anticipate the hold actions is all. Aw, oh, fuck. Ah, okay. No. Oh, and the replay feature is actually pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure why I would need, to, like, I guess it lets you see why you failed, but I mean, it, it feels pretty obvious to me. But it's still neat. Uh oh. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh. Anytime you stop moving, you're pretty much dead. Ah, fuck. Okay. So this is this is why I'm only going to more chap- like, I'm not even sure if I'm going to make it through the next chapter, or through this whole chapter. I'm enjoying it, it's just... tarred, and I, I mean, that's the point. Whoop, oh, fuck. This could be really cool with a level editor. I don't I don't think it has one. I didn't see that as a feature list, but uh ah. Also you can take a look at the full level. We saw that prompt earlier, but you can take a look at the full level if you want. Aw, oh, damn it. Ah. Come on, Brain, remember your order of operations here. Come on, why didn't you jump? No. Damn it. The camera sort of pans to show you that you screwed up if you press something early, because it pans to the thing that you activated, which is probably not the right thing if the camera has to pan to show it. Oh, come on. <laughs> I think I think we're done at the end of this chapter, just so I don't embarrass myself too much more. Oh, come on, I've released it. Really bad at this running for some reason. The, the dash jumps off. I didn't. Okay. We hit the wall, so I'm not sure we're gonna win, but. Uh... Oh, fuck! That last curveball with the steel is kind of rude, in my opinion, but we know it's there now. Whew! Okay. Why is Lyle running? I don't, I don't really get why Lyle's running. Maybe it's explained in the next chapter. We'll take one, we'll take a look at the new mechanic and one level. Oh, there's no new mechanic? Oh, there is. Slow down time, okay. Slow down's available on this level. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Okay. 
I don't know. Oh man, my brain hurts. Oh no, okay. Uh, it takes a little bit for it to get activated. That's kind of rude, actually. Very useful, though. Woo! Okay, okay, I get it. It's not as bad as I thought. I do wish it was instant instead of taking, like, a second to activate. That's one of the weird things. I want to play this game like some sort of, like, instant, you know, you... Press A as you hit the button door, like almost like a rhythm game sort of thing. But that's not how it wants to be played. It wants to be played like um, you press things a little early. If you keep that in mind, I mean, it's not too bad. Emily stops running. So I guess we're seeing, you know, some happy stuff. It's a nice little turnaround. Alright, one, one more. Ah, What? Oh no. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Okay. We'll beat this one level. I think I did that too early because I want to do the. No! Arg. Oh, okay. No! See, it doesn't activate when I want it to, it activates early or late. So you gotta press it early. Boop. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. But even then we were like a tenth of a second away from losing. <sighs> okay. Peek at, a lot at this next level, but then we're done. I'm, I'm just gonna take a peek. Alright. So yeah, this is Sprinter. It's on Steam. Link in the description as always. I really do like this, like, the colored pencil-y looky. It's very nice.